I'm Micah and this is the Broadheads of the Week. Welcome to Thunder Lakes. Today we're going to have a little bit of a range day. Um, a few of the Broadheads that we talked about earlier in the year, the uh, Slick Trek Standard 100s and the B3 Exoskeletal 100s. Um, we're going we're gonna to actually shoot these today and see how they do. Uh, I took a couple arrows, I just screwed them on there and uh, checked them out and they got a near pinpoint spin, uh, exactly what I expected from them. Um, both of these are pretty standard tried and true broadheads, but let's see how they fly. Um, we get right down to the wire and that's where the real proof is, is how well your broadhead flies. So let's see what we get. Okay, we're gonna shoot a three shot group over here on the five spot target to show a representation of what my group is. It's not that great, prepare to be unimpressed. Okay, we're seeing about a four inch circle. Um, keeping them fairly well in there. Like I said, I'm not that great of a shot, so I'm pretty happy with that. And that's pretty representative, if not better than what I usually shoot. So let's see. That is about the same size as this. Um, so what we'll do is we'll try to put a broadhead in each one of those and uh, we'll see how they fly. Okay, now for the broadhead test. First up is a slick trick, four blade, 100 grain. I shoot 100 grains. I use uh, 20 grains of front weight to get my uh, FOC up there the way I want it. Um, I feel with the modern arrows and the front weight systems, there's no reason to really shoot the heavier broadheads when you can always just put it right into the arrow and then the weight's up there and you can shoot 100 grain broadheads, which are so much easier to find. Let's see how it flies. And of course I spin my target a little bit, so I'm gonna take a step back. So I'm a little square with this one. This is the B3 Exoskeletal. It's a three blade expandable. Let's see how it does. All right, let's go see how they did. All right. Well, the slick trick is obviously flying really great. It's still inside the circle, um, off a little bit to the left, as I was with two of my shots over here. So that's not surprising. I'm going to say that is absolutely field tip. Um, on the B3, I felt myself drop just a little bit as I shot. I mean, if we go back and watch the video, we'd see it. But um, still, you know, from the angle I was at, definitely right in in line. And I'm just a couple inches low. Could be me. Um, we say we go shoot it again and see what it does. That's a solid hit. All right, we'll go check it again. All right, we're right there in the circle. Um, as I expected, I dropped my hand a little bit on the last shot. I kind of felt it again on this one, but we're right there. Um, either way, you're killing deer. I mean, a deer's heart's what, this big? And you're in it no matter what. Um, so I think this shows both of them are really good flying broadheads. Um, if you look at them, holes are not great but right there I feel the blade pulled up as it comes out um, you can see those grabbing foam on its way out these open up really easily 
Um, I've hunted with them for a few years now. Um, devastating holes going in and coming out. They do a really great job. Um, they hit hard, they smack. And then we're gonna talk about penetration. Even on a good broadhead target. Um, yeah, look at this. That's the tip. So if you're looking for some serious penetration, that slick trick is gonna provide. Especially out of a lower kinetic energy bow. Um, I think either way, we got dead deer. That's pretty much the whole point of these things. Thank you and we'll see you again next week. Oh, 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 oh,